the ocean is way deeper than you think. Unless you already know how deep the ocean is, that is. But I don't know how deep the ocean is. I mean, I've been to the ocean a few times, not that many, but whenever I go to the ocean, it's it's scary because like I'm always scared there's gonna be a shark coming at me or like a jellyfish. And actually one time when I was little, I was on a cruise ship and we went to Jamaica and I stepped on a dead jellyfish on the beach and it stung me. I don't know how it stung me, but it stung me and I was very sad. I don't know, jellyfish scare me, but we're gonna see what's underneath the ocean there. You look down and you can't see anything. So it just, it goes on forever, I guess. The ocean is really, really deep. No, <laughs> really? I didn't know that. I'm only watching this video because I thought it was like two meters deep. Then most of us realize if you were to shave off all of the land from the top of every- Or mining like Minecraft. If you guys want to check out my Minecraft Let's Play series, link will be in the description below. ...continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land, then the entire earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Three-fourths of our planet is already covered in water though, and it goes a lot deeper than just two miles. Let's start- Oh, we even have the intense music playing. Start with a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an average human. Uh, this slightly larger dot oh. is the size of an elephant. And this is the size of the largest ship ever built, the Nock That's Nevis. a big ship. With that in mind, let's start going under. The Nock Nevis? I've never heard of that. I thought the Titanic was a big ship. Actually, I don't know. I, I know nothing about ships. But actually, one time... Now, I'll, I'll see it later. I was on a ship one time, and it's the scariest experience. Well, I've been on a couple ships, but I was on one ship, and it was the scariest experience of my life. Stay tuned to find out what it is. Is. The first milestone is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. A little- Scuba diving is scary. Actually, no. I went scuba diving, but I went scuba diving like just off of the beach. So like you could still touch the ground, but this would be scary because you can't see the ground. It's an abyss underneath you. You don't know what's going to come at you. Further down at 93 meters is where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered, which is interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, which mm. means that it sank in water shallower than it is long. So if the ship was standing on its stern or bow, it would be sticking out of the water. Oh, good thing it isn't. Just slightly deeper than that at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. Well, then don't go but down that there. didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch. Why would you want to risk your life? I mean, I guess it's a world record, right? You want to be like a well-known man for the scuba diving, Herbert. Of 214 meters. This guy swam down to this level with just one single breath. What? But one breath? <laughs> I can barely hold my breath for like 10 seconds. If you guys try going underwater and holding your breath, one minute feels like an hour. Imagine this guy going 214 meters. I don't even know how long 214 meters is, but that's a long ways. <laughs> but a little further down at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was accomplished by another man named Ahmed Gaber. If he had swam- Well, I'd say that's a bit easier because you have like an oxygen tank, right? It's not just one breath, but the other guy's just crazy. But I mean, this guy's still crazy. Like he's going under the water and you, it's probably pitch black down there. Down another 111 Crazy meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. And a little further than that, at 500 deep. meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of Blue Whales, the largest. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Don't skip this because you will not want to miss this story. So a few years ago, I went to this place called Tofino. It's on Vancouver Island in Canada. That's where I live, Canada. And my parents and I decided to go on a whale watching trip. And I don't like boats that much. Well, I, I like boats, but not when it's like in the middle of the ocean, okay? So I told my parents I wanted to go on like the biggest boat possible because there was these boats that were like this big and like you getting whipped around in the waves like that. That's just scary. I didn't want the, the boat to flip, okay? So I was like the biggest boat possible because you have less chance of like flipping over, right? All right, so we started going out on our adventure. You gotta sign the little waiver saying if anything happens to you it's not their fault it's your own fault i guess yeah so we started going out there the, the waves were rough the boat's just going boom boom into the waves and there's water flying everywhere into the ship or the boat or whatever you want to call it i was just freaking out because like, i mean i was younger at this time too but i just hate boats in the middle of the ocean in like a lake that's fine but like it's in the middle of the ocean where there's like scary animals in there okay you, you don't even know what's in there well we're gonna find out just stay patient guys okay i just gotta finish my story here as we got out of ways from like land you can't see land anymore you're just in the middle of the ocean with these people that you don't even know. And we've seen things like, um, what do you call them? Seals, um, bald eagles. We've seen lots of little things that I've never seen before, which was cool. But the reason we were out there is to see the whales, right? And so we did get to see the whales, but every time there's a whale, somebody that's on the boat would be like, hey, there's a whale over there. And the guy driving would be like, boom, he'd spin the wheel so hard. You'd like fall out of your seat. He's going into the waves. Like the waves are coming at you. We're sideways. The boat's tipping over like this. And man, I thought that was it. I thought we were going to crash. But the scariest part is we got home safe. Okay. But the scariest part is, now I forget if it was a couple months later, a couple weeks later but on the news the exact same ship that we were on capsized like it's just scary and i never want to go on another boat in the ocean again i mean i probably will but it's just it's terrifying <laughs> creatures on the planet and also the limit of the U.S. Seawolf class nuclear submarine. 
At 535 meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of Emperor what? Penguins. Penguins go that deep? Deeper than whales? Penguins are so cool. I wish I could see a penguin. <laughs> This is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. A polar so bear further... standing on a quarter? I guess that's pretty heavy, but I don't know if I would ever experience something like that. But um, <laughs> they should have used like a, a person as the example instead of a polar bear, because I don't think anybody would experience a polar bear like standing on a quarter like that. Anyway, but that pressure would be insane. Like just from personal experience, diving into the bottom of the pool, my eardrums, like they feel like they're going to burst but that deep that would just be insane my brain would explode so further down the depths at 830 meters would be the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai the tallest building in the world once we hit one oh, it's getting darker meters below the surface we begin to enter the scary zone the Light scary the zone <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a funny name, isn't it? Couldn't they think of like uh, the abyss or something like that? But the scary zone. Ooh. But yeah, like this is the scary. It is scary though. Like there's no light down there. Is that what he's about to say? Surface can no longer reach beyond yeah, this it's point. It's pitch black. So the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent That's darkness. That's terrifying. On top of that, the water pressure you would experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus. I don't know Venus. what that would feel like. <laughs> that you would die very Okay, quickly. that's what you would, you would feel like. You would also meet the giant squid at this sea level. The giant squid. The water squid. pressure didn't already kill you. At the giant squid. Like, that's scary. Imagine swimming in the ocean and you see, you look underneath you and see a giant squid 20 times the size of your body. The ocean is a scary place, my friends. In 80 meters, we reach the turtles? maximum depth dived to by the leatherback what? sea turtles. Turtles go farther down than squids? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> giant squids are scary, so they just go all the way down but like the turtle turtles go that deep that's a long ways down interesting further down at 1828 meters we would reach the deepest part of the grand canyon were it to be underwater with us down at 2000 meters we start to encounter some of the more terrifying sea uh -oh. creatures like the ominously named black dragonfish a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it meaning that since we're in total darkness underwater at this point the only way you would ever see this that thing, thing is scary that is why i'm scared of the ocean <laughs> i mean i guess 2000 meters is a long way down there and you'd probably never see him but what if he decides to come up one day and all of a sudden the light shines through him or something i don't know how you can see these guys and you see him just at your face like wait do people go fishing and find these guys like how do they know all of this stuff i don't get it flashlight a little further down at 2002 what else we got down here meters, we would reach the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squid colossal squid sperm holy crap look at that thing what happened to whales it? whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with a colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. a colossal squid this i thought a colossal squid was like the giant squid i guess the colossal squid is deadlier Squids themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms. See, look at iron. that, man. This is me, okay? I look at how big that thing is. That would be so scary if you've seen one of those in real life. Eyes the size of a dinner plate and razor sharp sickles. A dinner plate? That means its eyes are bigger than your head. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Everything is terrifying in this ocean. So yeah, good luck with that down there. Way further down at 3,800 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. And a bit past that, at 4,000 meters, we start to enter the abyssal zone. There we the go. Ocean. There's the abyss that I was talking about earlier. I didn't actually know it was like an actual zone. I didn't even know where I got the abyss from. Water pressure is at an astonishing 11,000 pounds per square inch down here. And there are numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths. Such oh, as uh, a tooth, anglerfish, and And how do we fish. find these things out? I don't get it. Someone decided to go for an adventure and never came back, but told the tale. I don't know. But I feel like some of these fish I've heard of before that people have caught. I could be totally wrong and nobody could have caught these, but like, how do you figure this stuff out? So someone must have caught them, right? Down I'm not a big fisher guy. Actually, I like fishing, except I don't like fishing because at the lakes that we have here, there is no fish. <laughs> so you're out there the whole day and you don't get anything. It's, it's sad, but I do it anyway. Well, not all the time. My one friend has a boat, so I've gone out with him. But other than that, I don't fish. But fishing is fun to me. It's kind of, even though we don't catch anything. <laughs> meters is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor but there are parts okay of the ocean like who took this picture i don't get it maybe they'll tell us deeper than even this 
At 4,791 meters rests the wreckage of the battleship Bismarck sunk during World War II, and way down at 6,000 meters is the beginning of the Hadal Zone, named after the underworld Hades itself. What the what heck? What's under here? What? what? Water pressure down at these depths can become 1,100 times what you would experience way back on top at the surface, which is roughly equal to an elephant balancing on a postage uh, stamp. Back with the elephants again. Oh, here, we got a human this time. Thank you person carrying the weight of 50 Boeing 747 jumbo okay jets. there we go that's that's a better example because at first I thought he was just gonna say one plane and I thought that was a lot but 50 planes okay that's a lot that's a lot down at these depths you would be crushed immediately without any outside well protection. obviously if you got 50 planes on top of you you would be crushed life still exists down here in various and how do we know forms. this I don't get it at how, 6, does, how do you know 500 meters we reach the maximum depth that the DSP okay. Alvin can dive to a popular research submarine that helped to discover the Titanic. okay there we go that's how but we know <laughs> now how do we know underneath further. that what else we have going underneath I don't get it well, well maybe he'll tell us again down at 8,848 meters below the surface, and we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest, where to be upside down and placed underwater. Mount and Everest then, is that tall? I didn't know that. And way further past even that, at 10,898 meters, we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger <laughs> Somebody mission. went that deep! It would be pitch black! This guy is crazy! <laughs> The deepest point in the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960, though, when two men named Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their Trieste submarine. It took them five hours to descend through the ocean to this depth, and they only stayed for 20 minutes before a window cracked and they began to resurface. These guys are crazy! Imagine going five hours back up and water's coming in. That would just be scary. Just a bit further down. But hey, from if it there, weren't for these people, we wouldn't know these secret animals that live below us, right? 10,972 meters. So if you've ever looked out of a window while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently. That's pretty at. deep. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean <laughs> called the Challenger <gasps> Look Deep. at it! That looks so scary. But again, who took this picture? If those people were the lowest guys down, who took the picture? Right here on this map, just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, it is believed that there are almost certainly even deeper parts of the ocean than this that just haven't been discovered yet. It wasn't until 1997, after all, that the Serena Deep was discovered with a depth of 10,732 meters, making it the second deepest known point in the ocean. It is estimated that only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. Imagine in what other creatures are down there. Like, 95% of it hasn't been explored? Dinosaurs are living down there i tell you guys maybe only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found and who knows what we may discover yeah there. that's scary like that's terrifying i'm never going into the ocean again just kidding i'm gonna go to the ocean again hopefully sometime i like looking at the oceans it looks cool i don't know about going down deep but i don't know i've gone scuba diving like just under the water so you could see the fish but not like meters under the water that's just scary once you start to not be able to see and it's pitch black down there that is when i'm going straight back up anyway if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go down and hit the like button it helps me out a lot hopefully Hopefully this video can get like 50,000 million views because that would be insane. That would be my most viewed video, you know? That would be sick, eh? But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.